both the North and the South in the 18th century had slaves, but the institution of slavery shaped them very differently. The North was a society with slaves where slavery existed and it was a form of exploited labor, but at the same time it was something that could be abolished. Whereas in the U.S. South, slavery was so essential to the entire economy and to the society as a whole. They don't understand. There is no South without slavery. Commence fire! The cause of the Civil War is that Southerners had $4 billion worth of capital invested in human beings, and they didn't want to give it up. And that's what the Civil War is about. It is about slavery. And if it's to the extent that it's about states' rights, it's about the state's right to maintain that as a legitimate form of legally protected property over the objections of an increasing majority of Americans. They say a nigga make his way up to a Union fort. He can get a gun and fight. When Lincoln issues the Emancipation Proclamation, people still labor under the assumption that that was the end of slavery. But freedom really is this abstract concept. I mean, really, what does that mean? This war is over, and we ain't slaves. <laughs> Life for freed people did not change enough because of how much the former plantation owners and former slave owners refused to let freedom be real. You think anything's changed? Because the war's over? We will redeem this country and put you people back where you belong. It's just natural law. When they wrote the laws in the South following Reconstruction, they anchored the privileges and disprivileges that groups got on previous condition of slavery. They didn't write it on race, but in North America, slavery and race were completely coterminous. It's important to remember this history because we live with it every day. And there are forms of inequality that exist both in the United States and globally, and also forms of resilience that come out of this past in order to understand and appreciate both what's gotten better and what may have gotten worse, we have to understand. It's a kind of cornerstone for the community and the nation that we've built now. It's the descendants of these people living today who share this history. And so I think one of the things that Roots gives us is the ability to tell the history of slavery as a family history and as a national history. Blessed is this earth, because my people lie beneath it. Blessed is the rain, because it moistens their faces. Blessed is the wind, because it carries their names back to us. It's time your family pay for Run!